Hello, this is uh, Brandon Smith, chef at Summit Pacific Medical Center. I'm here with Sarah Carasino, our RD. We're going to be sharing some um, some more Blue Zone recipes. Um, you'll see right now I'm, I'm getting ready to bust out some garlic for you. We're going to be making some falafel patties. This is a vegetarian dish. And uh, usually you'll be serving this up with some Mediterranean type food. This this particular recipe actually came out of Texas at a Blue Zone that's that's working right now um, with a chef out there. So uh, I'll let Sarah talk a little bit about some of the uh, ingredients that you're seeing here. Well, thanks, Brandon. Um, I really love the idea of using a falafel, um, which is going to be made out of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. You don't see those yet, but we'll get to that. What you're seeing now is Brandon measuring out probably some of the cilantro and some of the parsley that's used. That's in right, recipe, yes. Correct? And so um, with the cilantro, I found it really interesting that it's also related to coriander because coriander, another spice you see in this um, picture is, it comes from the same plant. So both of them have some of the properties of helping with blood sugar management. And it has an antimicrobial compound in it that helps protect our body from some illnesses that can come from something like salmonella and it also may help support some normal digestion. So I really found that interesting to learn as I was looking up this recipe. And uh, with the garlic, you saw him crushing some cloves there. Garlic is really very helpful for heart health. Um, just a great flavor that you can add to so many recipes. The onion that you see chopped up, it's a non-starchy vegetable, which is great for people who have blood sugar management issues. It does not directly contribute very much to your blood sugars rising. And also has, it's a good source of some vitamins and antioxidants to support our heart health. You saw the chickpeas go in there. Chickpeas are high in protein and they're a cost-effective meat substitute. It's rich in carbohydrate and protein and fiber. Fiber and protein help promote us feeling full and help also manage our blood sugar levels. Fiber helps with our gut motility as well, keep things moving on through. So what are you adding here, Brad? Brad? That was a little bit of baking powder. Um, this helps us to uh, to get a little, a little rise as we're cooking that. Um, you see some pepper going in, some salt, there's a little bit of, of uh, cumin coming, and that last thing you see there on the end is gonna be the, the coriander. That was the cumin that we were smelling right there, such a, such a great aroma. Part of cooking is smelling as you go. I mean, you, you're getting all your senses involved. It, it should be a, it should be an enjoyable occasion here. We're supposed to be having a good time. We're supposed to be uh, engaging all the senses, the sights, the sounds, the smells. This is part of the health of it uh, to 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 uh, just get yourself stimulated in these kind of ways. Um, first part of eating is seeing it, so you want to make it make sure it's pretty. The next part is typically smelling it, and then with the smell comes the taste. You see me patting some patties together here. This mix is actually a little loose. Um, in, in hindsight, I probably would have done this in two batches and brought it together because it's a little coarse for this, for this particular fry that I'm about to do. Uh, I'm gonna be pouring some olive oil in here, and, and just a note, uh, Sarah and I were talking about the olive oil. I'm using virgin olive oil today, so um, you're gonna wanna make sure and not turn that heat up super high because it's got a low, what they call a smoke point. You don't wanna get that thing to smoking before you add your, your, um, your patties to it because it's gonna, it's gonna give you an off taste. You can also get an oil called a pumice oil. That's the, uh, the pressing of the, the olive oil. It's not the first press, but down towards the, the pit. And that particular press um, does well when you're, when you're using it in cooking. Um, the virgin olive oil, primarily you're gonna use that in like salad dressings and those kinds of things because the flavor is, is much richer because it's, the, it's mm -hmm. the first press. And I think the nutrient value of that thing is, is gonna be higher than your pumice, which is a little more um, of the kind of left. It doesn't have as much flavor. It's a little more basic as far as cooking with, so you're not gonna pick up a lot of the olive flavor, but you're gonna be able to get your heat up on that. So you'll notice these patties today are a little lighter than than you would normally a custom see uh, like a deep fried type item be, because mm -hmm. you really don't want to get it super dark. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise you're going to get that off taste when you're using virgin. 
Now olives are such a big part of the Mediterranean way of eating, which is where one of the blue zones is, was original blue zones were located, right? right? So olive oil is gonna be such a great source for heart healthy oils. All right, so I'm plating this with a salad. A lot of times this dish is served with pita bread. Um, so a nice whole wheat pita is nice. Um, or if you wanna have a sandwich and serve that with tzatziki, um, great stuff. Thanks for watching today. We appreciate you uh, checking out our Blue Zones recipe and uh, hope you enjoy. Take care.